Cotton. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. Thank you for being here. Good evening, Martha. So this is seen as draconian uh, by some, is it? <laughs> no, Martha. In fact, uh, our proposal would still allow in 500,000 immigrants uh, with new green cards every single year. That's in keeping with historic norms, and it's very generous if you look at other countries around the world. What I simply think we need to do is get a legal immigration system that works for American workers. Over the last several decades, we've seen work wages stagnate for blue-collar workers. At the same time, we've had record high numbers of unskilled and low-skilled immigration. I think those two things are directly connected. With my legislation, we're going to focus on American workers first. All right. So you want to lower the number of people coming in in order to improve the opportunities for citizens of the country in low to mid-wage jobs, right? That's right, Martha. Only about one in 15 uh, uh, immigrants coming in today is coming in because they have demonstrated uh, skills or because they feel a demonstrated economic need. Most of the people that come into our country come in because they are a distant relative of a current citizen or recent immigrant. Uh, they come in under the outdated diversity lottery or as a refugee. Obviously, they don't have the kind of high skills our economy needs, otherwise they'd come in through a high skill program. That means that they directly compete with high school graduates or people who don't have a high school degree. Of course, that means that there's going to be fewer jobs for those American citizens and lower wages. All right. You, you know, we've become so divided in this country, left and right on this issue, that, that, that everything that you're talking about, although some may say it makes practical sense, most likely conservatives would, would agree with you on this, um, Democrats and liberals would say that it's, that it's mean, essentially, that you are shutting people out, and that's just not who we are as a nation. Um, I want to take you back to this State of the Union address by a former president in 1995 and get your thoughts. Watch. We are a nation of immigrants. But we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. Yeah, that's Dick Durbin uh, in the glasses, sitting down back in his seat from his standing ovation. And as you can see, across the entire room, Democrats, Republicans on their feet in what used to be, um, you, you know, a somewhat common sense notion about letting people into the country. Your thoughts? I, I, know, I know, Martha, it sounds like more common sense from another Arkansas politician when I heard Bill Clinton speaking there. Uh, I think both parties should be focused on what's best for American citizens. That's our job as elected officials, to look at the, the best interest of American citizens. And as President Clinton said in those remarks 20 years ago, our immigration system right now does not serve the interest of American citizens, especially people who work with their hands and work on their feet. Senator, let me ask you, so what changed? You know, I mean, you know, cynics would say, well, you know, it's about votes, it's about, you know, bringing in more Democrats into the country eventually. Um, what has changed so dramatically since 95? Well, 1995-96 was really the last time there was a concerted effort to try to get a hold of our legal immigration system. I think this is an issue where elites in both parties and outside of politics as well, in business and the media, culture, the academy, are simply out of touch with working people in places like Arkansas. Uh, this is something that unites uh, the both, both parties' leaders in some ways, regrettably. I think it's time that we pay heed to the results of last November's elections in which Donald Trump for many different reasons, was able to beat many qualified Republican candidates and Hillary Clinton. But the single issue on which he campaigned, above all others that set himself apart, was immigration and refocusing yeah. our immigration system on working Americans. Well, I hope senators uh, who see themselves in that tape will ask themselves why they feel so differently uh, on this issue uh, that you've now brought up. Senator Tom Cotton, very good to see you tonight, sir. Many thanks. Thanks, Martha.